This episode of Marijuana Today Daily is brought to you by Greenworks Consults, a company run by longtime listener to the show, Jason, who's an expert when it comes to helping businesses get better at doing business. Learn more about what Greenworks Consults is up to over at greenworksconsults.com with works spelled W-O-R-X. That's greenworksconsults.com. Good morning, Marijuana Nation. It's Wednesday, April 29th, 2020, and you're tuned in to episode 924 of Marijuana Today Daily. I'm your host, Shay Gunther, and I'll be walking you through today's marijuana news and headlines. As always, we have a full and busy day of cannabis news in our hands, so let's jump right into it. We start the day off with news that High Times Holdings, the parent company of High Times Magazine and the Cannabis Cup series, just bought up 13 planned and operational dispensaries located in California from Harvest Health, which you might remember for its recently canceled $800 million acquisition of products company Verano. High Times picked up the 13 dispensaries in a mostly stock deal and says it also plans to move forward with previously announced, but as of yet, un closed acquisitions of shops in Las Vegas and Los Angeles. This is all part of the company's pivot into retail sales as it searches for revenue to plug up its rapidly dwindling reserves. Deborah Bouchard over at Green Market Report has a good story on this that looks into some of the fundraising troubles High Times has been experiencing as of late. Give this one a read. Kyle Yeager over Marijuana Moments picked up on news out of the U.S. Virgin Islands that Governor Albert Bryan Jr. wants to legalize adult use marijuana as soon as possible in order to generate additional tax revenue. The Virgin Islands is heavily dependent on tourism and the global travel shutdown caused by the coronavirus pandemic is hitting the territory's financial books hard. So Governor Brian Jr. sees legalization as a way to help plug some of the monetary holes springing up. The governor will send over soon a revised legalization bill to his legislature, so we'll have to keep an eye on this storyline. Wrapping up today's top stories winds us down in Michigan, where the state Supreme Court ruled on Monday that local towns and cities are free to impose restrictions on medical marijuana operators. The case centers around an ordinance passed in the Byron Township that bans registered medical marijuana caregivers from cultivating on commercial property. The township was sued by caregivers, and the state Supreme Court just ruled that state medical cannabis laws can be superseded by local officials just as long as they do not ban cultivation entirely. So towns can restrict business all they want, but they just can't blanket ban it. If you do business in Michigan, this is probably a good ruling to have a solid handle on. So maybe track this one down for more. Those are our top stories for today. It's time for Marijuana Today Daily Headlines Blitz. Before we blitz it in headlines, let's quickly thank our sponsor, Greenworks Consults, a company run by longtime listener to the show, Jason, who's an expert when it comes to helping businesses get better at doing business. What Jason and his team of fellow experts can do for you is to take a look at your entire business operation with an eye on cutting out the waste. It's really hard unless you engage with pros like Jason and his team at Greenworks Consults to see every part of your business machine in terms of efficiency. I run a business myself and can attest to that on my own very small level. It's just hard to know all the things. That's why you need to take some time today and open up greenworksconsults.com with works spelled W-O-R-X to see what Jason and his team of efficiency pros can do. Then get in touch with Jason and start tightening up your ship because there's never been a better time to make sure you're spending every dollar wisely. One more time, that's greenworksconsults.com. All right, time for the Blitz. We have another voice added to the growing chorus pressing the federal government to include legal cannabis businesses in coronavirus pandemic relief programs. As a coalition of credit unions and marijuana trade organizations sent a letter to congressional leaders yesterday making the case that it's important that marijuana operators be able to tap into things like the Paycheck Protection Program. A total of 29 groups and credit unions signed the letter, which you can read yourself in full over at Marijuana Moment. 
to my own corner of the country here in Maine as the Portland City Council voted on Monday to grant six-month temporary licenses to two cannabis testing labs, the state's first that will operate within Maine's nascent adult use sales program. Maine voters passed adult use back in 2016, but our stupid Republican Governor Paula Page obstructed and delayed its implementation for the years he was loathsomely in office. So here we are in 2020 with no stores open yet. Adult use dispensaries were to open last month, but the pandemic closings moved state officials to delay that to at least June. Another story that broke on Monday pops us down to Florida, where lawyers for a marijuana legalization activist group filed a brief with the state Supreme Court, arguing that a proposed amendment to legalize adult use marijuana not be blocked by a terrible law pushed through in March by Republican lawmakers that make it harder for citizen initiatives to get on ballots. Republican lawmakers are trying to retroactively apply the March law to the adult use ballot measure, which was certified back in December. This is one of the stories they should give a read to if you do business in the Sunshine State. The Canadian province of Saskatchewan just announced that it is currently accepting applications for marijuana dispensaries that are to be located in towns with less than 2,500 people. The province is only taking applications for shops in towns that's small right now, so if you've ever dreamed of a simple life selling marijuana in a small Canadian town, click over for details. Sounds kind of nice. A leading senator in Mexico said over this past weekend that lawmakers could have a mechanism for swiftly passing adult use legalization via a special committee being formed this week to better respond to the coronavirus pandemic. Mexican lawmakers have not met in person recently, and a new legislative committee is being formed that will have powers to help negotiate sticking points currently holding up proposed legislation. So the hope is that legalization could possibly find a pathway there. So this is another good one to keep an eye on. Dave Davies, filling in for Terry Gross at Fresh Air, did a fantastic interview with Aaliyah Voles, author of a new book written about her life growing up with parents who sold a lot of marijuana brownies around the Bay Area in the late 70s and 80s. And I mean a lot. At one point, Ms. Vole's parents were moving 10,000 marijuana brownies a month, specializing in direct sales to people working in restaurants, boutiques, stores, and offices. You can read the transcript over at Iowa Public Radio, but it's a better listen. We end today's news with Marijuana Business Daily's chart of the week, which this week shows the changing wholesale price of legal cannabis tracked month to month since May of last year. The chart shows the wholesale price of legal marijuana trending upward over 2019, ending around $1,450 per pound before dipping down to the $1,350 level over the last couple of months. We definitely need more time and data to really see what's going on with wholesale pricing, but this is a good place to start watching. Another one I'd think about reading in full. Those are the headlines and news for the day. I'll be back with you again tomorrow morning with another information-packed episode of Marijuana Today Daily. But in the meantime, if you have any stories to share or feedback to give, zip us an email to headlines at mjtodaydaily.com. And while you're clicking around the interwebs, swing over to our website at mjtodaydaily.com to find links to all the news we cover. Thanks to our sponsor, Greenworks Consults, and to our awesome patron listeners for the support that makes this show possible. To join the illustrious ranks of the patron listeners yourself, swing over to our website at mgatodaydaily.com and click on that big blue button at the top of the page that says become a patron. I'm your host, Shay Gunther. Thanks for tuning in and starting your day with marijuana today. Today. One take, Shay. One take.